Hi, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making Euro Burgers. And if that weren't exciting enough, I have another uh, collaboration that I am doing today with the Recipe Box TV. A lovely lady named Elizabeth does some wonderful recipes over there and I was invited to do a collaboration with her. Today I'm going to make a traditional, or my version of a traditional Euro Burger that has three different types of meat and Elizabeth is going to do her own version over on her channel so I encourage you to go over there and have a look at what she's doing when she makes her Euro burgers. So I hope that you'll go check out the Recipe Box TV as soon as you're finished watching my version of Euro burgers. So let's get started. Um, Euro burger, you know think of a Euro, a Euro, a Greek Euro and what do you think? You think this delicious sandwich made with a pita bread filled with this delicious sliced meat. Well, I'm going to take that whole concept and I'm going to make it into a burger. So what we have in the bowl is one pound each, ground beef, ground pork, ground lamb. And you can mix and match. You can make it all lamb. You can make it all beef. You can make it all pork or a combination of the three. That's what we're going with today. And then what we have in this bowl are all the flavors that you're going to find in a gyro. We have some chopped garlic. I have some lemon zest. I have some chopped mint. I have a, um, a tablespoon of ground cumin, a tablespoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of ground coriander, and a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice. And all of these things are going to get mixed up together, and we're going to put them right there in with the meat. And we're going to mix this up. And then what you want to do after you get your meat mixed and formed is you want to let this sit while you fire up your grill and get that to the perfect temperature because this is going to kind of be like a marinade of sorts. We're going to infuse all of this flavor into the meat and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go mix this and then I'm going to patty it up and then I'll bring it back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, everybody, there's our burgers. They're all patted up, and yes, I have a hole in the middle, and I've discussed previously that we like to do that so that it, we don't have any shrinkage when they go on the grill, and they don't puff up in the middle. So there they are. They're all ready. The only other thing I'm going to do is I am going to put a sheet of parchment paper over top of the burgers, and I'm going to let them sit until our grill is completely heated up and ready to receive these. So when it's time to do that, I'll be back, and we'll show you what happens next. Okay, let's build our burger. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put some tzatziki on the bottom, on the bun, and then I'm going to get the best looking burger just for you and put it right there. And then I'm going to get a little thick the cheese, sprinkle it on the top as much or as little as you like. I mean, feta is pretty strong. So what I would recommend doing is breaking it up into as possibly small pieces as you can. So it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then we got a little bit of tomato fresh from the garden. Oh, almost forgot. Onions need to go here under the tomato and then the tomato and then the lettuce. Okay. That's a burger. Am I right? No. Oh yeah. That's a burger. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Look at that, it's beautiful. That is my version of a Yiddo burger. I hope and this inspires you to make a Euro burger of your own. The only thing that we're going to have along with these burgers are some potato wedges that I seasoned and cooked up while the burgers were on the grill. Beautiful. You can dip those in your tzatziki. It'll be perfect. So there you have it, a beautiful three meat gyro burger with um, homemade tzatziki and some lettuce, tomato, and feta cheese. 
and a little red onion if you so desire. I hope that you try this and I hope that you love it. I'll put the recipe for the burgers up on my website. That's www.noreensekitchen.com. And I hope that you will consider um, the rate, comment, and subscribe option. If you're not subscribed, please press the button and go ahead and, and do that so you don't miss out on a minute of fun over here at my kitchen. And uh, rate the video with a thumbs up if you liked it. And leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. So until next time, I'll see ya. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope that you'll try making my version of Euro Burgers sometime soon. I want to remind you to go over to Elizabeth's channel, The Recipe Box TV, and watch what she's going to be doing with Euro Burgers and check out her other videos as well. She has some amazing videos and she's done some wonderful recipes that are super healthy and some that look just decadent and delicious. You can click on this box here where you're watching my face talk and you'll be taken directly to the Recipe Box TV channel. And I thank you so much for stopping by my kitchen today and until next time, I'll see ya.